In this video, I will discuss ways to change emotions by using opposite action. Opposite action is a dialectical behaviour therapy or DBT skill that involves changing emotions by acting opposite to your emotional urge. Let's look at some examples. Sarah is depressed and wants to stay in bed all day. She wants to isolate herself and avoid other people. This behaviour leads to Sarah feeling more and more depressed. Engaging in opposite action, Sarah gets out of bed, has a shower, gets dressed and meets up with her friend. Changing her behaviour helps Sarah change her mood. Let's look at another example of opposite action. Trevor is socially anxious and avoids contact with other people. Engaging in opposite action, Trevor calls a friend and arranges to meet up for a coffee at a quiet local cafe. Trevor is not denying his emotions or urges, but he is challenging himself by acting opposite to his urge to withdraw. There are five steps to opposite action. Step one, name the emotion. What is the emotion you want to change? Anger, sadness, anxiety. You may need to tune into your body to identify the emotion. Step two, check the facts. Ask yourself, is my emotion a reasonable response given the situation? Is it justified by the facts? For example, you feel scared of walking through a dangerous part of town at night. I know I would say that's definitely a justified emotion that you want to listen to. But sometimes emotions aren't justified. For example, a car cuts you up and if you're really angry about it, you have the urge to get out of your car and hit the other driver. That emotional urge is not justified. It would therefore be most helpful if you act opposite to your emotional urge and stay in the car, don't react and continue driving. Step three, identify and describe your action urges. What do you feel like doing? Do you feel like isolating yourself, hitting someone, drinking alcohol, self-harming or overeating? What is your urge? Also, what do you want to say? Because saying something can also be an urge. Step four, ask wise mind. Will acting on your urge make things better or worse? Will acting on your emotional urge solve the problem? Is expressing your emotions a wise thing to do in this situation? If you're not sure what wise mind is, I have a video on wise mind and the link is in the description. And finally, step five, act opposite to the emotion urges. If you've got this far, you have decided that your emotion is not justified by the facts or acting on emotion will not be helpful in this situation. So you should do the opposite action to your emotion urges. For example, if you feel angry and want to attack someone, the opposite action would be to, to be kind or to walk away. And remember to do the opposite action all the way. So this means your facial expression, posture, what you say, how you say it and what you think. An example of half opposite action would be going to a birthday party to reduce your urge to avoid other people, but not actually interacting with other people. Sitting in a corner, perhaps looking down, not engaging. So true opposite action would involve going to the birthday party, talking to other people, looking around the room, making eye contact and smiling at people. You also need to keep practicing opposite action until you notice your emotions changing. This may take some time to so keep practicing. If you've enjoyed this video, you may be interested in the video on the screen now. Just click the screen to view the video. I look forward to seeing you soon with more mental health tools and strategies.